What is up guys, Patrick or Patch here, bringing you the best settings for Black Ops 2. These are basically the settings I use and I've found are the best, like, in general. So what I'll be covering is, like, uh, sensitivity, audio, graphics, and um, how to make your aim better. So the first one, go to options. This is basically the best God setup. You have look inversion disabled, control vibration enabled, stick layout default, button out tactical. I'd recommend switching to tactical if you're not ready. I've been playing tactical since like Modern Warfare 2 and it's just really, really, really good. Because um, anyway, you can't even panic knife or anything in Black Ops 2 anyway. So Sensitivity, I have it on 13 so you can like do turn on shots but... A lot of people have it like 9, I used to play on 9 and that's quite good because you don't move around too fast but it's still like good enough for your aim and everything. Target assist enabled, yeah that you have to have that on like if you don't you just, well you won't be able to like play like <clears throat> at all unless you've got like the best aim in the world or for troll if you go to your mate's xbox or something turn that off. And it'll just be funny because they like begin no kills, nothing. Uh, game tag indicator. I have it on abbreviated because that just comes up with the name without the rank or anything, and you don't need that to be honest. Colorblind assist is on. This don't really make like difference, but if you see um, where my arrow is, my yellow arrow, it's hollow, so you can see like which way it's pointing better. If it was off, it it's not as good, basically. Audio, I have it on Super Crunch. Wait, yeah, Super Crunch. Um, cause if you, if you got a good headset like Tail Beach Weather, like I have, you can sound whore. It's not it's not as good as like other games. It's quite hard, but what you have, you have your voice volume on about six or seven, music on four. SFX is all the way up because that's like where you can hear footsteps and everything. Master volume, that's like overall. You have it like three quarters of the way up. Codcast, you don't really need that, it's two. And voice volume, that's like if they're shouting out reloading or something, you can hear that. Um, like if you, uh, for example, if I was here and I heard someone reloading up there, I'd be able to quickly just get him because he was reloading. It's quite good. Uh, graphic settings, safe area. This is a key key point. What you do, a lot of people think you have to have it as big as your screen, but no, you don't have it like that. Because look, I'll show you. If I have it as big as my screen, 32 inch TV, it will be like this. And if you notice, the mini map is right in the corner, isn't it? But if you make safe area the smallest it can go. The mini maps closer to the middle, which is a lot better. Cause, say if um, like you shoot multiple people here, nearly on a streak, and then you have to, well, well how I play, if unless you play on like small um, monitor, like 20 inch or 22 inch or something, uh, you have to like keep looking up to see the mini map. But the closer it is to the middle of the screen, the better. Cause then like you can see all the action. Don't really have to. Pay attention just to the minimap without the rest. Brightness, I have this all the way up because I'll show you an example. If you have it like they say, it's basically just a trick. Um, they want you to have it like, literally how it said, not visible and whatever. But say if I was here, and there's a person like there, like waiting for me to defuse the bomb or something. I would be able to quite easily see him, but if I do what they tell you to do, which is put brightness down so you can't see the top bar, which will be that. Look how horrible and gloomy that looks, and then you also wouldn't be able to look, you wouldn't be able to see anyone there. Look, you just had you'd have to guess and you'd probably get shot, so what you do, you put your brightness all the way up. Like so. Um, this don't matter, this don't matter. 
Yeah, put that the smallest it can go. It's best to play on his monitors, but yeah. Um, so now what I'll show you is another trick what a lot of people don't know about is on the Xbox you go to profile. No, nope, pro profile, yeah. Go to game defaults, general, and you put difficulty and easy. Don't ma this don't matter, this don't matter, and then control the sensitivity on low. This will help out the most if you've got like sensitivity on nine, but I haven't fain. Because if you go like this, see that's quite a smooth line. Like it's not really going like this, is it? Just like that. So it's like steadies your aim more, so it's not like all the load place. And also, if I was like shooting someone up there, my aim's better. Cause if you see, if I just if I'm just jumping around and then it's always like near. Basically, it just improves your aim. That's what I'm trying to say, and it makes your crosshairs like smoother. Then another trick is this time out action. Then you put this on this normal. That's left stick. Auto aim on and auto center. Racing don't matter, but what that does, I think I do, I don't know if it actually look, works online, but I know on private match or local, it would um like it kind of makes your I don't know how to explain it, but I f I think I I don't know I'm not hundred percent sure if it works. I think I'm pretty sure the rest of it works and it's pretty good, but I just think it does help. Like it kind of like. I don't know. Like kind of auto aims the centre, like it said. Yeah. Um. Wait. Is there anything else? I'll show you. Yeah. So like, pause the video, copy this down, put whatever sensitivity you want, but don't like, don't go all the way up. Don't go. Never do 14 because that's just pointless. I usually play on a 13 or 10. That's like the god setup. Target assist. You have to have the, that on. Like I said, super crunch graphics. Yeah, that's pretty much. Wait, it says something else. I think that's pretty much it. Oh, and another thing, if you find that, um, like when you're shooting, if you've got your vibration on, if you find that you're shooting, and then you die because like your hands are shaking around because of the vibration. I like it on because it feels like you're actually doing something. But if you like it off, just turn it off and it will probably help you out. That's quite a good tip. Yeah, so that's pretty much the video wrapped up. Um, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, if it helped you out. And comment below if it does help you out. Like, because I don't want to tell you this and then you find out, like, oh, I don't work for me. Just tell me if it does work for you. It should do, but I don't know. I just, yeah. So thanks for watching guys, like I said, please like, subscribe and all that, comment below, you have to comment below, we well, don't have to, but like, I'd, lo I'd love to know if it works or not, yeah, so, see you later.